Wondering what the real estate market is doing here in the Myrtle Beach area? You might be surprised by the numbers for August of 2022. Hi y'all, we're Frank and Tiffany Harita, realtors here in the Grand Strand. And we have been getting a ton of questions lately on how the real estate market is reacting to these rising interest rates. So let us break it down for you today. First, let us take a look at the single family resale homes throughout the Grand Strand. For the month of August, the average sold price was $442,000, down 2.25% from July's average of $452,000, but close to June's average of $445,000. Homes closed at 97.4% of the list price on average, which was about the same as July, but less than June's 99%. The average days on market was 73 days versus 68 days in July and 62 in June. Now there is a 3.44 month supply, which is not too far off from July's 3.33 month supply, but higher than the 2.95 month supply we had in June. The current average list price of homes on the market is 564,000. In summary, for single family resale homes in the Grand Strand, the prices have come down a little and buyers are getting a slightly better deal. Homes are staying on the market a little longer and we are approaching a balanced market. Next, let us take a look at the condo and townhouse resale homes throughout the Grand Strand. For the month of August, the average sold price was 262,000, which was the same as July, about 4.5% lower than June. These close at an average list to sales price ratio of 97.8%, which was less than July's 98.6% and June's 99.6%. The average days on market was 63, which was actually lower than July's 70 days and June's 73 days. There is now a 3.42 month supply, which is lower than July's 3.51 months, but more than June's 3.15 months. The current average list price of homes on the market is 283000 So, for condos and townhomes in the Grand Strand, the average sold prices are holding steady, but people are getting a little better discount off those list prices. Interestingly though, homes sold a little quicker and there's slightly less inventory on the market than the previous month. So, it is still a seller's market, condos and townhomes here in our area. All right, let's now move over to the oceanfront and take a look at condo sales in the oceanfront buildings. The average sold price in August was 336,000, which was higher than both June and July and back to about where we were in May. Condos closed at 97.4% of the list price on average which was just under July's 98% and lower than June's 98.9%. The average days on market was 74 days versus 67 days in July and 61 in June. There is now a 4.43 month supply of condos on the market, which is much higher than the 3.94 months in July and 3.46 in June. The current average list price of condos on the market is 318000 So, for the oceanfront condos, the prices actually went up on average, but sellers are more willing to negotiate. The condos are staying on the market longer and with much more inventory on the market, it is definitely a balanced market now on the oceanfront. Let's move inland now and take a look at the resale detached homes in the Carolina Forest area of Myrtle Beach. For the month of August, the average sold price was 430,000, which was 5.5% lower than July's average of 454,000 and 11.5% lower than June's average of 480,000. 
Homes closed at 97.7% of the list price on average, which is down from July's 99.2% and June's 99.4%. The average days on market was 70 days in August versus 60 days in July and 59 in June. There is now a 3.44 month supply of inventory, which is close to July's 3.26 month supply, but much more than the 2.87 month supply we had in June. The current average list price of homes on the market is 505,000. So for the resale homes in Carolina Forest, the prices are going down and buyers are getting a better deal. Homes are staying on the market longer and there is more inventory. Now, while we're still a seller's market, it is certainly heading towards a balanced market. Next, let us take a look at the condo and townhome sales in the Carolina Forest area. For the month of August, the average sold price was $217,000, which was about the same as July's average of $214,000, but prices are over 3.5% higher than June's average, which was $209,000. These closed at a 97.9% .9 of the list price on average, which is lower than July's 99.5% and June's 100%. The average days on market was 74 days, which is higher than the 60 days we saw in July and 49 days in June. There is now a 2.48 month supply of inventory, which is less than July's 3.11 months supply and also less than June's 2.76 months of supply. The current average list price of homes on the market is 232,000. Prices for condos in Carolina Forest have actually been going up, but buyers have been able to negotiate these prices a little more. And while condos are staying on the market a little longer, there are actually less available. So it is a seller's market for condos in Carolina Forest. Now, before we wrap it up, let's quickly talk about new home construction in our area. The average sold price in August was $411,000 versus $419,000 in July and $418,000 in June. So it's down about 2% month over month. The list to sold price ratio was 99.9% .9 in August, 100% in July, and 99.9% .9 in June, which shows that builders are staying pretty firm on their list prices. We know that there is a lot of confusion in the market right now, and many people are not sure what is going on and where the market is heading. If you are wondering if it is a good time for you to buy or sell, give us a call and let's discuss. And before you go, we'd be so appreciative if you would leave a like on this video. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to our channel as we release new videos every week that you're not gonna wanna miss. Buying and selling is always the best with my mommy and daddy.